So how to determine the approval? So very crucial uh, step in the functionality. As I told you earlier, uh, the number of approvals will be determined uh, based on the value of the uh, credit memo request. So generally we have uh, in our organization, first uh, the credit memo request uh, should be approved by all the sales uh, people. And once after all the sales people approves uh, the credit memo request, uh, then uh, it will go to the finance department. And uh, it's a it's a step by step approval. Uh, one approver uh, will approve. Once if it approves, once if uh, once if the approver approves it, then it will go to the next approver, uh, and then so on. It depends upon the value. And uh, yes, uh, as I told you, a first approver is determined based on the partner function called uh, the sales representative or the account manager maintained at the document header level. So this this piece of information we are getting from the customer master. And then from customer master, it will flow to the credit memo request. And then uh, our uh, function module will use uh, to uh, will use this uh, data to determine the fast approver and the in the flow. And all further approvals are uh, determined based on the RFC function uh, RFC enabled function module, which fetches the data from SAP HR. So already we have a SAP HR in place uh, with all the organization uh, data in setup. I mean in place. So already I have the first approver. So I'll pass this first approver uh, to the function module and I'll ask the function module to fetch the chief of that approver from SAP HR system. So that way we are reusing uh, the data that is already existing in uh, my SAP HR system. And uh, this function module, yeah, as I told you, this will uh, this function module will pass the first approval to SAP HR and get the chief of that person. And uh, as such, uh, in our SAP HR setup, uh, uh, there is no clear cut demarcation between the sales and the finance. There is no uh, field that says this person belongs to sales person or this belongs to or this person belongs to finance. So uh, just to have a clear cut uh, demarcation between the sales approvers and the finance approvers, uh, so we have come up with a functionality called job family, so which we are maintaining in, in a Z table. So Z table is nothing but a table uh, that is created in the database uh, to store some uh, uh, values. So for example, uh, if the value of the credit memo request is 10,000 US dollars uh, and uh, Against this value, I'll say yes. Uh, this credit memo request has to be approved uh, by approver uh, who has got the job family as four. So the system will keep on uh, finding out the approvers till the job family of the final approver is four. Once it will uh, find the job family of the uh, once it uh, finds the job family of the approver is four, then it will it will assume yes, this is the final approver uh, for this credit memo. And then it will go to the finance department, where all the finance managers are once again uh, maintained in the Z table. So it will find out the finance manager from the Z table, and uh, subsequent uh, managers in the finance department uh, will be determined from the SAP HR, similar to the sales people. And uh, this is how the approval uh, screen uh, looks like. So the first screenshot uh, is nothing uh, but the SAP Business Workplace and the transaction code is SBWP. Uh, if you have a log on panel, if you get into the SAP, uh, get into this transaction code. And if you expand uh, your left hand column, uh, you can get to the uh, work items that are pending for your approval. And the second screenshot is nothing but the SAP uh, Universal uh, Worklist, which is the portal form of uh, SAP. You, in this case, in the second case, you need not have SAP logon pad, but yes, uh, it's, a, it's a URL. Just click on the link uh, when you are in your office network, and it will take you to the Universal Worklist. Uh, it's nothing but the mirror image of uh, the SAP, but it's only the uh, web form or the portal form. And also, if you just look at the first screenshot, you can clearly see you can clearly see the title. It has got the credit memo request number. So every credit memo request, once after I save, and then I submit it for uh, once after I save the credit memo request, it will have the system will generate a unique uh, number, 
which can be achieved uh, by using number range uh, uh, functionality in SAP. So each and every credit memo request is differentiated by a unique uh, number. And this is the custom screen uh, developed uh, using uh, the module pool programming. And this has got all the information and uh, certainly uh, by looking at this screen, approver should able to take the decision uh, whether to approve or uh, reject the credit memo request. So this screen will pop up uh, once after you double click on the work item uh, in the service market, uh, in the, in the uh, business marketplace or on the university work list. So if you can see uh, on the top of uh, this screen there are uh, many buttons. The first one is to approve uh, the credit memo request and basically the reject is to reject uh, the credit memo request and you can also see the credit memo request that has been created in the system which I showed you on uh, in the earlier slides and you can also see the print uh, of that credit memo request. So, uh, suppose if I would like to take the print out of this credit memo request, yes, I can uh, click on this button and then go for print. But somehow I'm not feeling uh, confident uh, with the information that is provided on the screen or maybe I would like to uh, take uh, some opinion from my manager. I could even forward the information, this information uh, to my manager to take uh, his suggestion whether to approve or reject it. I can even do that. But uh, though I'm forwarding the information, it doesn't mean uh, the ownership lies with uh, my manager. It will be still lying with me. I'm supposed to either approve or reject this credit memo request. And on the next screen, you can also see uh, many other details uh, like the credit memo request number and the reference document number. Sometimes uh, I create this credit memo request with, uh, with reference to some earlier invoice. So in that case, uh, it'll, uh, that value will come here. You can also see for uh, against which invoice you are issuing this credit uh, memo and the document, the date on which this uh, particular credit memo request is created and for which company code and what is the value, what is the currency, who is the customer and who has created this credit memo request and uh, the net value as well as the approval value. So we are given two values because approval value uh, is nothing but the net value plus taxes. And you can see uh, there are uh, four windows here. Uh, one is to enter the comments by the approver. Suppose if you, if you want to give some comments, if you want to reject this particular credit memo request, yes, you can key in some comments here and then you can go ahead and reject it or otherwise you can even approve it. And uh, you can also see the approval log. Suppose if I'm uh, the fourth approver, uh, the approval process who is approving this credit note. Uh, I could see who are all uh, has approved this uh, credit memo request and this approval log. Maybe for example, you can see already the person uh, JCLM has approved this on so and so date without any comments. And on the right hand side, there is a window called notes submitted by a document creator. Here you can see some uh, information given by the initiator. And also the attachment list. Sometimes initiator will attach a lot of documents. They could be, uh, it could be some calculation sheets or uh, maybe the reason why uh, they are giving the credit uh, to this customer. So approver can see all, all that information uh, as, a, as an attachment list here. You can double click on these attachments and uh, you can go through the details uh, of the background why uh, he needs to approve or uh, reject this credit memo request. So this has got all the information so that uh, the approver can confidently uh, take the decision. And it's completely Z screen followed uh, by module pool program. background jobs. So before I uh, get into this slide, uh